What's up guys? So this has been such a long time coming. We've been so quiet on this channel. Really sorry for that, but you know life gets in the way sometimes. We have stopped at Millie's a filling station. We're gonna grab something to eat quickly and then we're gonna make our way to the Kruger National Park. This trip, it's just a little bit of a tradition that we do every year on my mom's birthday. We try to take the whole family with to the Kruger National Park and just have a good time together as a family. So it is now today the 16th of February. So this is just after all the rains and the floods happened in the Kruger National Park. So we're a little bit unsure of the road conditions. We're going to enter through Malalan and then make our way to Satara. So we're going to cover the entire south section of the park because we want to see as much as we can of what the the floods did and how full the rivers are because we've never been in the Kruger National Park when the water levels have been this high. So we're really excited for it. It's a little bit like a anxious feeling because we don't know what the road conditions are. We try to stay up to date on their Facebook page when they tell us what road is closed, which roads are open because I do know there are a few bridges that have collapsed and some roads that are completely not possible. So yeah, that just adds a little bit of an adventure element to this whole trip. Are you excited? Very excited. We're gonna see the blood. Look at that little beast. We are on the way to Krugan. Um, it's very exciting, as you can see. I'm alone in the car, and Kenneth is behind me. We're just doing a little trial period to see what we want to change and what we want to incorporate into the bill and um, also see what it's like to travel in two cars separately. We're very excited for this weekend. We are actually chasing the floods to a certain extent but we're also going to Kruger to celebrate Kenneth's mom's birthday so that should be very exciting. We'll be traveling from Malalan to Satara through the park so we can see if we can get some nice shots of the rivers that are in full flood. So we are super excited. The last time we were in Kruger in February, we didn't see any flooding um, and it's always been a dream of Kenneth. So our timing this year has been impeccable and we are just super excited to be able to witness something so spectacular. Hello, hello. I get your hummus. So, how was your first trip alone in the gym? It was um, lonely, but lonely. luckily I had the radio as my moiki. Okay. <laughs> but it but was awesome. The staff at the Malalan gate couldn't tell us exactly what the status is of a road or a bridge that has some serious damage and it's actually not possible. Um, on the way to Satara, uh, they said we should just take that road and then when we get there we assess the situation so it's adding a bit of adventure to our trip So tell me, rate a Jimny out of 10 quickly. No, it's still a 9. Maybe a nine. even a 10. When I don't lose power because my tires are too big. I mean, not on the highway. <laughs> yeah. In the bush, it's a 10. It's a 10. On the tar, it's a 9. 
Wie kan sê, roosterkie! <laughs> Mom, oh, is jy excited vir jou verjaardag? Ek is! Weet jy, ek het gedink, hier so was a flat gewees en hier is nie druppel water nie. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my mom and it's her birthday weekend and that is why we at the Kruger to celebrate that. Ek kan nie wacht How? om te gaan tente opslaan en te explore nie. Yeah. The tow road heading to Skukuza, the H11, is closed, so we are going to, well, at the T-junction, we're going left now to see if there's an alternative route that we can take, but that road is closed, so I'm not exactly sure what our next move is. We're going to go and try and see if we can link up just past Pretorius Corp um, with the S1 and see if we can take the S1 to Skakuza and then from there Satara. If that does not work out, then we will probably see if we can camp at Pretoria Skop tonight. But yeah, let's see what happens. We did not make it to Satara today. We um, realized that we're not going to make it in time, so we came to Pretoria Skop and we selected a campsite over here. We're going to spend the night over here and then we're going to head to Satara tomorrow for two nights. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful campsite. It is so, it's empty, like it almost feels like we have this whole campsite to ourselves. But we are busy setting up camp. Then we are going to start a fire and just sit and relax and enjoy the evening. Tonight on the menu is chops, vors, potato salad and garlic rolls. So we're very excited. The first part of this trip in the Kruger National Park and that is one of the main reasons we come to this place is for these evenings. A vorsie. Choppy. It's going to be a good night. breaking down the tent then we're gonna go look for a leopard we woke up this morning and it is raining and it is always so fun to pack up camp when it is raining but we're gonna start the morning with a nice cup of coffee um, we wanted to be at the gate at 5 30 but it was raining a bit hard for us to get up and start finishing so it is now quarter to six um, so I think we're going to probably take about half an hour. Hey, Jamie. 
It's a lot later than expected, but it started raining so bad. But we have packed up camp and we are officially making our way to Satara. It's still raining a lot. And we are taking a detour road now because the H11 is closed on the way to Skakuza. So if that gravel road is open, it could be fun. This weather is making the scenery so, so beautiful. It's incredible. It feels like we're driving through a forest here in the southern section of the park. And it's beautiful. is pouring down so yeah it is pouring down we're on a dirt road there's water rushing over the roads and stuff so i think like this could have like another severe impact on the road conditions of the park but it's really really fun We've got a really, really big roadblock. There are hundreds of buffalo in the road. Also, it has stopped raining for the moment. There's a little bit of sunshine peeking through the clouds, so it's giving us a glimmer of hope, I think, for the next few kilometers of driving. Um, but yeah, we've been waiting here for about 20 minutes. They're not moving out of the road at all. We're enjoying the mud. Can I just say, it was epic, but I was sliding around like you want to get out of here. We are about 30 kilometers from Skakuza now um, and then I think we're going to stop there, take a break to stretch the legs and then continue the journey. We've hit rain again.
Okay, so we stopped at Skukuza. We had a quick lunch at Cattle Baron. And Good now we're going to get bar one milkshakes. <laughs> Our usual route um, towards Satara via Chokwan is not accessible. Check this out. this trip every time we get the opportunity to drive over a bridge it's just incredible final stretch to Satara. I must say we didn't account for all the road closures and how long it's actually going to take us to go from Malalan to Satara but it's been quite a journey and we are really really excited to get to camp. When we get to camp then what our initial idea was with this trip and the reason we came with the two cars as well is we're going to park the cruiser make the base camp with the cruiser and that's going to stand there and the rest of the traveling will be done in the chimney because we both also want to experience the Germany a little bit more. So far, it's been freaking awesome. T's enjoyed every minute inside the Germany. It looks so cool. We are 30 kilometers from Satara and I know lions are everywhere but we always just tell ourselves Satara is the place where we see lions and again on this trip it's true. Um, we found a pride of lions, I think it's five females and one male but they are chilling under a tree because like it is boiling. I am wet with sweat. Um, I can see if I look through the binoculars at them they are struggling too. It's now 10 to 2, and it is, well, it says 32 degrees, but the humidity is unbearable, so I can think that they're struggling as well. And there's the Jimny, enjoying the sighting with me.
So the next two nights are going to be amazing here in Satara. Um, we are setting up camp. T quickly went to the store to just stock up on some supplies and some more water. And then I'm not sure yet if we're going to go for another game drive or if we're going to just relax the rest of the evening, start the fire a bit earlier and just enjoy time around camp. Thank you. 